Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 2022 and it's IFA time again. My name is Jan Oeppel and if you haven't had the chance to visit our booth at Weber in Hall 11 yet, I would like to take you on a tour and give you a little sneak preview of what we are going to show you. Please come and follow me. At IFA 2022, I want to show you two examples of uh, true integration. One of them is our bacon line with a Texto TS700 with full integration into the packaging machine and uh, also something very, very interesting at the beginning, which I will show you in a minute. And our second example of true integration is our V-Slice 9400, um, including all the components for your cheese factory. And this uh, starts with our new V-Divide, which allows us to divide the Euro blocks and cheddar blocks into locks and um, transfer it then into the slicer. Here we use uh, two cutting systems, uh, one with a string and one with a knife, to give you a perfect cutting result on soft and hard cheeses. And furthermore, there is a check weighing system installed here to get um, you an idea about your weight and distribute the product then in the right orientation and to go into our WeScan 7000. The WeScan 7000 is an X-ray scanner and here we are able to measure the width, the height, the length, but also we can look inside to the product, which is perfect if you uh, produce cheese with holes, because then we understand exactly the density and this allows us to get a high exit rate and a small giveaway. After our uh, WeScan 7000, we transfer the product automatically into our WeSlice 9500 and um, I can't even, my hands are not enough to show you how many innovations are on this machine. So uh, please contact our team and we will show you everything. Now, all the portions also coming over the check wear and here we obviously also generate a lot of data. And um, this data um, gets then into our Weber Digital World. What is that, Weber Digital World? Well, we have a lot of different systems installed uh, which can be the Weber cockpit, the Weber factory assist, a maintenance tool to um, allow you a nice maintenance schedule. But my favorite tool on this show here is actually the Weber One Control. But what is Weber One Control? This allows us to control the entire line from each and any touch screen of the line. So basically you can control the packaging machine here from this panel. Or I can also change parameters on the packaging machine um, in terms of shingling, which is produced on the slicer. So this is a great tool on a big line like this to give you maximum control over your machine. After the slicer, we buffer the products here for the reload time of the slicer and then feed everything automatically into the packaging machine with our V-Pick solution. We use a double picker here on this machine. Um, all the portions are being scanned with a camera system at the beginning, um, also to have some correction opportunities here, to have a perfect positioning of the portion in the pack. Well, in terms of the footprint, uh, we decided for a double picker here, which is truly integrated. So you have a really, really good access um, also to the electrical and pneumatical components of the packaging machine underneath. You have a very good access to the end effectors for changeovers and also to take the belt away is super, super easy on this machine. This is an example for true integration. The frame is completely built in to the packaging machine frame. On this packaging machine here, we use a die set of 4.4, where we use a mono pad film, um, which gives us also a very high performance on this line. Our machine comes with a complete servo drive technology which allows us a very good control about the film and um, gives you very good control over the film and places the top film very accurately onto the uh, bottom film. Something very new what we have on display here on the booth is as well our uh, Remark system. It's also equipped with servo drive that makes it really, really quick in terms of the transfer times. And we installed an um, inkjet unit to it to print the shelf life onto the top film of your package. At the end, of course, we have to diverge, converge the product then from uh, the four tracks uh, to one track with our uh, own converging system at the end. Now we arrived at our bacon line, um, which shows you how we produce bacon in 2022. And this line uh, starts with a yeah, a very new sensation from Weber, which we present the first time to the world. This is the WePress. 
The repress allows us to get your product into a very nice shape um, for use it for industrial slicing. Um, you see the machine has here an automatic infeed into the press, but the important thing on this press is that we're using servo drive technology to press your products. This allows us to control the pressing mechanisms very, very much so that we have a really superb and supreme pressing result. It's obviously dynamic pressing as well. And um, one nice part is here that uh, the tools are also equipped with an RFID sensor um, to detect whether you use the right tools for your application. After the press, obviously, we have to divide the product for higher performance from one track to two track slicing. And therefore, we also have a clever system in here um, where we basically divert the product from left and right, depending on how heavy the product is. And this avoids later on the line uh, empty packages. After the dividing process, um, we got here our new Rescan 5000. The Rescan 5000 takes the complete measurement of the width, of the length, and of the height of the product and also takes uh, the exact weight of the product. And this allows us to slice the exact slicing thickness in the exact area to give you uh, high exit rates and low giveaways. All this information from the Rescan 5000 then goes into our TS700, which is really, really dedicated for bacon. There are a lot of small things into this machine, which allows us a perfect slicing result, starting from the blade, going on to the CCU, portioning control conveyors with positive drive technology, short check wire to make the speed, and also then a rocker, which um, is here also equipped with positive drive, because on bacon you have a lot of slippage. Well, then labor becomes more and more a problem in our industry to get labor, and um, so obviously we also show you here a solution with an automatic infeed into our packaging machine. To transport bacon is not that easy, because bacon is really uh, slippy very often on the belts. So we decided for a flat infeeding area here. And as it is a natural product, we also have here the option then to correct the bacon. You know, if it's not having the right temperature, we then can here control uh, the positioning of the bacon with our new sensor system. Further down the line, we got our buffering system to buffer the reload time. And as an additional security to make 100% sure that your bacon is in the right spot in the packaging machine, uh, we have our camera system here to identify the position of the portion in the pack and it will automatically reflect that to the infeeder to put your portion very nicely into the packaging uh, area. Now, on our VPAC 7000 here, we use a um, very new paper film. This paper film is also equip equipped with a peel corner cut. This peel corner cut allows us later um, to take away the film completely of the paper so that you can dispose both separately into the bin, which is obviously a big add-on in terms of sustainability. Well, also on this machine we use obviously our servo drive technology. Um, we still have here on this machine our so-called dancing arm, but actually our dancing arm doesn't dance anymore that much. Uh, because we have our servo drive technology, um, which controls the, the top film already very, very good, and this gives you a very nice, precise um, yeah, lay down onto the bottom film. Also, on this machine, we have our new inno innovation in terms of the roll shear cut, which increases your availability of the machine massively. Yeah, but automation doesn't end here. Uh, we also added our new Resort 5000 system to this line, which allows us then to automatically convert your products from two tracks to one track. And here we can also reject um, empty packages because you don't want to have them in the following process. Obviously, not everybody got the space in this factory for such big lines like I showed you before, and therefore we have our 305 on display. And important to know here is that uh, the blade technology we use on this slicer. It's obviously circular blade technology and Weber has his own factory in Crozemero where we design the right blade for your application. And this gives us a very perfect slicing quality on this machine. Furthermore, we put also all our know-how in terms of servo drive technology and control technology into this machine. Um, and as you can see on the touch screen, it looks identical to our bigger slicers. So this know-how is also on our smallest slicer. 
Furthermore, we do have our V-Slice 4500 on display, which is the successor of the 405. But here we redesigned the complete entrance into the slicer uh, with an automatic loading from the backside. And there are also some nice smarts on this machine, like the uh, very easy cripper changeover. And uh, you basically keep your cripper in position and you just take it out for cleaning. Very simple. Furthermore, this machine also comes um, with the interleaver technology and we have also a nice alternative here on the booth which is the respray technology where we can spray a liquid onto the product, um, onto the slices so that your slices are not sticking together. And by the way, this slicer is also available with uh, sickle plate technology. That means if you have big portions, you get a higher output of this slicer. And as you can imagine, uh, you can also add a lot of stuff to this machine, like scanning technology, like automation with pick and place or with automatic infeeders, and of course our repack as well. So we can design the line exactly to your needs. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much to follow me on that tour. I think you've seen some really nice exhibits here and the team will be there for you uh, to support you on your projects and uh, I hope we see you soon.